How's it going, everybody? Dara Bournes here of St. Patrick's Athletic. Subscribe to Irish Footy Vlogs for the best league world content around. Olé, 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 olé. Welcome, 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 guys. Welcome to Irish Footy Vlogs. Match day vlog tonight. Massive, massive game. FAI Cup semi finals, St. Patrick's Athletic, Dundalk, Richmond Park. Um, it really is. Um, it's one I'm really, really looking forward to now. We're going to have a massive crowd. Hoping it gets at least close to sellers. Dundalk are bringing a fine gang themselves, possibly 1K. Um, so there's going to be a massive atmosphere tonight. It'll be the most full ground. We'll be with home and away fans since before COVID, guys. It's going to be incredible. It really is. Um, You know, obviously I've logged these games. I'm obviously a St. Patrick's Athletic fan, though. So there's... Like, you know, I'm obviously whole Pats win this tonight and uh, a little bit nervous for it now, but a good nervous for it as well. And, uh, you know, huge respect for Dundalk and the players they have. And they've really shown that in the last few weeks as well, how good of a team they can be. Um, I was very critical of them, rightly so, the board, etc. And things like that. And uh, they shouldn't be anywhere near where they are in the league, let's be honest. Um, you know, it would be an insult to, to say expected to see where they are. But they're going to come out tonight. They're used to these big, big matches. They've won cups. They've won leagues. They've won. They've been here before. They've been in Europe. It's big, big players. Your Hubens, your your Duffies, your Boyles, etc. Um, all players for the occasion. Pats haven't been this kind of occasion. Let's be honest. The last time they were in a cup final, for example, was 2014, where they won it. Uh, a lot of these players, as certainly as a team, haven't been in these situations. Uh, obviously, the likes of Robbie Benson has. Uh, with Dundalk themselves and that but um, look it's going to be a really really good game I think a great occasion it could go either way to be honest with you I'm hoping obviously Pats pinch this but uh, you know Pats are going to, be after, going to have to be at their best tonight I think if they have any chance of winning this I expect Dundalk to be at their best tonight um, it's their only chance of getting into Europe as well You'd have Pats home record has been brilliant and <clears throat> excuse me so has Dundalk so recently Pats have won 8 out of 9 and a lot of Dundalk's good results have come on the back of brilliant support at home. And they'll be there tonight as well. Pats fans will be uh, very supportive tonight as well. There's going to be a cracking atmosphere. Really can't wait for this, guys. And uh, yeah, we'll see you in there.
still in.
guys, just back home. You have to excuse the washing machine there in the background. You might be able to hear it, but uh, what a game. That was past three, Dundalk won. And uh, one occasion, brilliant occasion. Both sets of fans are absolutely brilliant all night, to be fair. Um, you know, the game itself, Pats, first half, very even. Uh, a couple of mistakes led to goals. Peter Cherry was unsighted, to be fair, as Billy King scored for Pats. He is a winger. He is a super winger, and his name is Billy King, by the way. Um, for Dundalk, then Huben scored, and it was a mistake by young James Abank, only seventeen, and uh, he got booked after that, and they took him off at half time. But uh, James is a very good young player. These things happen, but when Huben gets in there, he's still the best finisher in the league, guys. He really is, and he finished with a plan, made a one all. But I think Dundalk deserve to be level at half time. To be perfectly honest, apart from that. Uh, second half, as I said, a banco came off for Pats, and Pats had started with a three, uh, five two type formation. But they changed the second half. Hickman came on. They went to a back four. Birmingham went back to left back, and you Desmond Barrett obviously centre back. But the front three of Burns, Smith, and King were sensational, especially in that second half when they became a front three. The work rate, the movement. Uh, and skill, and they just couldn't cope with them in the second half. They really couldn't. The Pats relinquished a lot of, a lot of possession, uh, which is unusual. But Dundalk had a lot of possession, and they were trying to penetrate. Uh, Duffy looked very dangerous all day, to be fair. But he, Duffy's always going to look dangerous, isn't he? Even if he's having a bad game. Um, but Pats went 2-1 up. It was a lovely ball through from there. Burns, who found Matty Smith, and he buried it into the top court. It's a superb finish. And the third goal, Coughlin, I believe, played it through. And Burns, 1-1 with the keeper. What a chip, what a lob. He was sensational tonight, Dara Burns. He really was sensational. The front three as a whole were very, very good. Um, Dundalk, we'll obviously do a review show, so this is only a brief thing. Dundalk would be disappointed, you know. It wasn't for lack of effort. The fans were brilliant as well. And uh, they're going to reset next season. It's going to be very interesting to see where they go. But... Uh, Look, guys, uh, as a Pats fan, I'm absolutely buzzing with that. It's Bowles in the final. It's going to be Sunday in the Viva. Commiserations to, Dund to Dundalk, rather. And uh, I'm going to get myself a cup of tea, you guys. And uh, I'll see you again for the, the review show. So uh, thanks for watching, guys. Subscribe if you're new. Hit your bell notification button. And like the video. And I'll see you later. Good luck. Olé, 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 olé.